Hello, welcome back to back go back to Binding of Isaac after first. Da, 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 da. I'm doing a challenge run, I'm doing the blue bomber challenge, because I said so and that's what's going on today. Blue bomber, bam, doing it. This one, you get kamikaze, you get uh Mr. Mega, you get brother Bobby, and you gotta kill Satan. Super lust, not the best first thing to start off against. Although that happened, so that's good. Also you have Pyro. In this best so realistically, I can blow my way through doors I don't need, but I'm gonna need some consumables anyway. A little weird sacrifice room. It's got holes as if there are things to dodge in there. I'm gonna try my best to blow up all these rocks. Oh. What's interesting is that usually going being so close to enemies is bad because it'll explode. Apologies if you can hear my dog. Oh, got these guys. Well, range down, that doesn't mean anything to me. Just this card is awesome. Blow this up for free. The more bombs we can get, the better, because these are basically like our lifelines against bosses. I might go into the item room soon. We've gotten a lot of money on the first floor. No hearts, so... We're not very good on that, because we're blue baby. The pyro can't heal us. Just means bombs don't explode on us, or do damage when they explode. It's kind of exploding these just to look for a crawl space. I'm not gonna grab all of them. Blue Famine, very nice boss to fight. Just because he gives a spirit heart. And we got this! It's gonna be really good if we're close to people. Ball of Bandage is gonna take up some, some shots for us. And as well, we can like kind of use it to do extra damage. Very nice. Happy with my current set of hearts right now. I probably won't be taking that many deals with the devil. There's not many deals with the devil that really will entice me. You know, like what am I gonna like? Grimstone doesn't do anything. The only item that can really like save me with this, for Eye, that doesn't actually do anything. The only item that can actually like make this run very easy is picking up Ludovico technique, because from what I've heard, if you pick that up. It will allow you to shoot tears if even though you don't have a you really have a blindfold on. So that's very nice. Not sure if it's hundred percent accurate though. Cameron told me, and you know. He's a dirty liar. Oh. Man. So I have to beat Satan, so I can pick up the Polaroid and still fight Satan. Go in here first. Spirit Heart's good. Chaos? Is there any deal with the Devil item I even really want? I don't think so. I'm just gonna take it anyway. It leads to fun stuff. And also, a speed up is pretty nice. Alright. What's in here? Free stuff. That Spirit Heart's very nice. I <laughs> accidentally lost a penny there. Kick a Mr. Mega Bomb in there. Spirit Heart for free. I do like Kamikaze uh, Pyro. It's the one time the Kamikaze is good. And in most cases, it wins you the game, but in this one, since you can't heal from it, you're not invincible. Because normally, if you're a character that has like any amount of like two HP, you basically won the run when you pick up Kamikaze Pyro, because you can't die. Same thing applies for. Uh, Dr. Fetus. Oh my god, look who it is! Well, I'm not taking it, because I can't shoot tears. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't, like, let me shoot tears if I take it. So I'll just skip it. Unfortunate, though, I love Dr. Fetus. And I heard he got buffed this patch, or the, with the afterbirth update in general. This one I'm just gonna skip. I do have Brother Bobby. And like I can use him to shoot stuff sometimes, but I don't think it's really worth it. A card against humanity. Awesome. If I can find like a big uh like a four wide room, I'll use it on that. I love cards against humanity. The game and the card in Binding of Isaac. I do want to explore more, because picking up stuff in the shop I can now pick up item room items out of the shop. So I feel really good about that. Alright, Bloody Penny isn't really helpful. 
I also have a triple orbital now. I keep stepping away from my bombs, even though I don't really need to. That one's just too much of a hassle to go through. Oh, this one's a card against humanity worthy room. If I can pick up Petrified Poop, it's pretty good. What's in here? <laughs> awesome. So let's poop this up. Petrified Poop. Pick, great pickup for this. It basically just gives us 99 cents. This is why a card against humanity is so good. It can really set you up. I should really be shooting Brother Bobby, huh? Although it's not really making it go faster. Nah, it's not gonna make it go faster. A lot of stuff here. This might just take me to the HP cap. What's that poop doing over there? It's like stuck. Alright. Let's just grab everything. You can just pick up whatever we want now. Like, we'll just pick up there's option because it's a good item. It's good to have. If I had Dark Bomb though, that'd be great. Just pick up all this stuff. So there's a new there's a new bum, it's like key bum, and there's also bumbo. Which is like a mini turret when you uh have give them enough pennies. And if I have a bum friend right now, it'd be perfect. Maybe I'll buy something. Let's use this speed up, I want that. What's this? One makes you small. That's not actually that bad. Emperor card. That's useful for Satan. We're battling Satan. What's in here? Now that I have everything I could really want. Uh, I'm not going to open that one. My health's too important, this blue baby. Well, that was what I wanted to do this floor ever since I got the card against humanity, so... Let's go. That's really what I was waiting for. I think this, this floor pattern seems to spawn more floor rooms than normal. I skip right by the boss intro. I don't even know this boss's name, I just know it's like the dickish version of Polycephalus. That's enough for me. It is really that's really just all he is. He's like even more dickish. BFF. <gasps> yeah, that's really good with orbitals. Because now I'm really small, my orbitals are really big. I guess Brother Bobby's better now, but a better brother Bobby isn't that great. Although Brother Bobby and Blue Baby have the same initials and probably the same character, but still. Also he's as big as me now. I'm not going to that curse room. Realistically, I could pick up an item from any item pool, but not that great. This is the run that I actually really don't enjoy having my uh, setup with, because... Oh, this is the floor. Simply because you can't blow up those mushrooms with, the, with uh, Kamikaze, in fear of getting hit by the toxic explosion that still damages you. Alright, well, I don't know why I went back in here. What? The room cleared itself. Goat head. I'll take that for 15 cents. Wish I could buy that in the shop every game. What's this? Another emperor card. Okay, hello, angel. Ah, oh, this is great. Oh, there's no way I can cheese around this. But, yeah. Sounds pretty good. Is there a secret room, by the way? There can't be. Peep is one of the enemies I have a very hard time with on this run. Because he spits creep right next to himself. His, exp his yeah, projectile attacks don't really do much versus me right now. Chubb just likes smoke though. Why are my bombs killing him? Kamikaze. I love that just because I strapped a bomb to my chest, that means it's an infinite bomb. Priestess. I think I'll take the Emperor. It's going to be more useful. Technically, I could use the High Priestess on the boss to kill this room faster, this floor faster. But I feel kind of confident. Okay. Oh, there's a four by. There's a two by two room over there. Would have been nice to have the card against humanity on. Samson's lock. 
I prefer the speed up, honestly. Damage on this is really good, though. Although I know that this is the only damage I'll have throughout the entire game. I don't know why I'm kind of hanging around here. I should just find the boss. There he is. That's what I don't like. It is that that happens sometimes. Boop. Okay. All right, boss. Mega fatty. Not the best boss for fighting this because he's got his super jump and also the suction move. Although I can use the ball advantages. Steam sail, Halo. I'll take a Halo. Just because it's good. It did. I don't know why I entirely did that, but you know, whatever. Got to speed up. Kind of negated that heart, but oh well. Got to speed up. Prince card. It's a spirit heart for later. Now, I have attempted this run before, and so has Cameron. We've done it together, but not like actually together. But we did it side by side. And both of us died at Satan by killing him. Like, we killed him and then died. This ha for Cameron, that happened twice in a row. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen with me here. A one die? No, thank you. If I reroll this run, I'll come back with the blindfold and not have anything to, s to fire with. Most likely. Unless I magically get Ludovico technique. I'm liking the explosion radius on that, though. And the, the free dime is cool. Exploding enemy... An exploding bomb enemy that but drops a bomb when he dies. Satanic Bible? <laughs> I'll use it. Also, Cuba meat for seven cents. It's gonna go well with my ball of bandages. I think it's even. It might be bigger than a pretty fly, but I know it's like it does damage, so it's better. Boop. I need to go back for that key. Could be important later. This bomb is actually gonna be really important. Like all bombs I can pick up are really good because they're like my. My way to fight bosses. In most cases. Any difficult boss I fight, I'll have to bomb them a lot. I really enjoy the concept of this run, though. Loki's not that difficult. Because part of his attack is like summoning bombs on me. I'll just blow them up when he summons them and hurt him. And there he goes. Tammy's head. I don't need Tammy's head. Hey, to play is really good, though. Deck of cards! Death card. It kind of undervalues- I've gotten two Angel Room items, this thing, and it's been re-rolled because of chaos into some random- like, some random-ass thing. Keys aren't nearly as important anymore, since, like, you have pay to play to open doors with. Basically what that does is that, uh, it means any key door that you need to open, you just instead as a penny door to open. You just have to put a penny in. Which is pretty good, actually. I just wanted to do that. It seemed like it'd be a lot easier to do that room that way. That one don't want to go to. Don't know why I did that. Is there a spirit heart to pick up down here? That was a normal heart. That's a normal heart as well. I had that spare one I lost last floor. Alright, that's a black heart. I agreed. I already beat Super Greed. Or Ultra Greed. On Greed mode, so... I don't really care about you. Oof. This is fun, though. I enjoy this run a lot. Cameron was the first to say that this runs Hitler, but he's first, a lot, he's first to say a lot of things to Hitler. Go on through here. Some pennies. Actually destroys these. Oh no, it doesn't. I thought it destroyed the guys before they became the little oozies. Huggalazer. Demon's tail. 
That's really good. Although I don't want this. I don't want the hook anymore. Sorry, hook. Now, if only Kamikaze was this good in the normal game. And I have something to be excited about with this. And I do already know like the reward for doing this, which is kind of why I wanted to complete it so quickly. It's, it's like you get golden bombs. They're like golden keys. But bombs. You get infinite bombs from the floor. That's really good with like bomb synergy things. Small rock. I mean, it's a good thing. In all cases. Well, it's, it's not a bad thing, so, you know. Why not pick it up? Maybe I get Ludo Technique and it ups the damage. I think the speed up from Halo is probably a really good reason to pick it over Steam Sale, honestly. Oh god. Push me into it. Alright, brother Bobby. Get him. Oh, I can just hit him from there. Okay. I notice a lot more hosts are spawning out of these. So the spades. Not really have key, key problems again. Considering I already have pay to play. This is. Infamy is good for more damage reduction. I don't want to trade on my space for it and for Bob's head. Hagalaz. Did I take the Hagalaz rune instead of my Emperor card? Did I really drop my Emperor card somewhere? Where are you at, Emperor card? That's not it. I must have left it on the last floor. Hmm. Alright, that one's empty. I just want to do a quick sweep. Just to check. I don't feel like I left it on the last floor, but I might have. There it is, the Emperor card. Nice to have you back. Where are we at now? Depths 2? I think that's the last floor before, uh... I think this is the mom fight. Darn angular bonies. Alright, mom, not really much of a big deal. First of all, I got these two. Second of all, her foot counts as explosive damage. So when she comes down, I just, like, can get hit and not care. And also, I can just do that. Alright, gonna take the Polaroid. I'm just gonna do a quick skim through boss rush. Just to check if there's any game-winning items here. No, this is probably the worst assortment of items I've ever seen in Boss Rush. Satan, you got anything for me? Not really. I mean, I, this is literally trading. Largest <laughs> trading 2 HP for 3 HP for 2 HP, and then getting a speed down, so. I'm not gonna take that. Sorry, Satan. You're trying to sell me a lot of weird stuff there. Now that I have the Polaroid, right, every time I get hit, I'll get invincibility, so that means that I can go to work with my orbitals. That's really nice. Explosive diarrhea. I love that one. Just the way he says it is so funny. I saw this with a tinted rock. I snatched it with my eyes. Bam. 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 Okay. I lost one, but that's not the end of the world. Yet. It could be the end of the world. Don't know. Well, this one's the skip. I'm not coming back to this half of the map, so... Don't feel too bad about skipping that. 404. Effect not found. Well, whatever it is, it's probably not really worth it. Damon's Tail is great for giving me extra black hearts. Especially since I don't have red hearts anymore. Okay, come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Dip. Can't kill him. Well, this room's a skip. Sometimes I do notice that enemies become immune to bomb damage. For some reason. It happens a lot in Afterbirth. Well, I didn't mean to kill him, but he's dead now. You're gonna have to die, too. Cancer Trinket. Perfect. Yeah, not that great. 
I killed that guy before he even, like, started being invincible. I killed that guy before I walked in the room. Alright. God, the sound of just the same thing. The same sound effect in Isaac over and over again with the bomb noise. It's gotta be really great for the years. Alright. We got to fight Headless Horseman. What are you doing here? Is he even this level of a boss? I don't remember seeing him a lot here. Necronomicon or Pony. Neither. Yumheart. Why did I blow it up? Uh, I didn't mean to. But I got the key piece. I just meant to blow up the fires for random chance of spirit hearts. Oh well. At least in Shoal I'll be able to blow up a lot of stuff. And also still be able to skip rooms. This is definitely worth going into. Anarchist Cookbook. I feel like I just want to skip this one, because I actually do want to hang out in uh, Shoal for a little bit. Not exactly something you'd expect me to say. Shoal isn't exactly known for its hospitality. It's very hus it's very uh, accepting of new ter souls to torture. So I don't want to go fight Hush. This is like is this the that's like the only angel room item I've ever even seen in this one so far, but it's good. I don't even... Is Rosary a danger room item? I know it's religious, but... Okay. Now then, while we're in Shoal, we'll just skip that. Fuck you. Skip that. Definitely skipping this. Alright, Loki. You're not really worth fighting. Neither are you, Death. Alright, here's Satan. Stay still. Alright, Fallen. Just one more bomb should do the trick. And you're out of there. You just do the orbital dance. Got him. Alright, this should be the easy part of the fight in theory. Because the best thing... Oh no! This is literally the win fight, because he can't damage me at all here. I won! And I did it! Yeah! I got golden bombs. It's a great run. Cameron's going to be so upset with me. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. I'll see you next time.